Hi, it's Ramsey Dewey at the JX Fight Club in Shanghai, China, and today we have a bunch of questions. We're going to start with Brandon in Canada, who has had to take some time off of jiu-jitsu training for uh, some personal reasons, and after a few months, he's kind of worried about how it's going to be going back. He's wondering if his coach is going to give him the evil eye or something like that, or how his teammates are going to respond to him. And he's worried there might be kind of a rift or, or some negativity there. And uh, I'm going to tell you, man, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that at all. Uh, as a coach, when I have a student who disappears from the gym and then comes back sometime later, that's really exciting for me. Because that answers a few questions for me. When I have students leave, it leaves me with questions like, man, did I fail as a coach? Was my class not good enough? Did I suck as a teacher? I mean, is my class just not any good and that's why they left? But when they come back, that answer to that question, yeah, I know it was just for, you know, some personal reason. Um, you familiar with that, uh, that Bible story, the prodigal son, about a man who had two sons, and uh, one was the good son who always did, did what he was told, and the other one was, uh, was the uh, rebel in the family. And uh, the rebellious son, the prodigal son, he, uh, he asked for his inheritance early, and uh, he took the money and he left, and he went out and spent it all in riotous living and parties and lived it up for a while until he ran out of cash and, and he fell on hard times and he thought, oh man, I really should go back to my dad's house, but oh man, he's not going to accept me back because I've been a jerk and I, I squandered my inheritance and, and I did all this bad stuff. But eventually he goes back and He's, he's going back under the impression, I'll, I'll be my dad's servant, it's not going to be the way it was, he won't love me, but it'll be better than, than eating pig food, which is what he was doing at the time just to, just, just to stay alive. So he goes back, and as the story goes, his father welcomes him home with open arms and, and throws him a party and kills the fatted calf as a, as a reward. And, and um, So what's, what's the point of that story? Well, the point of that story is the people who care about you, well, they're going to care about you. The people who love you, they're going to love you. And as a coach, the headspace I'm in about my students is I love my students. I love them. I love the fact that they are willing to commit their time and, and their resources and their energy to this thing that I love, you know, mixed martial arts training, and, and share that experience with me. And that's awesome. And I understand sometimes they, they have personal reasons why, why they can't make it to the gym or sometimes they even need to take an extended absence or sometimes often, since I'm here in Shanghai and it's a lot of transient um, expatriates moving in and out of the country, you know, I'll, I'll have you know, people do exactly that all the time. But when they come back, that makes me happy. So don't even worry about that, just go back. As far as how to break the ice with your coach and your teammates, Open your mouth. Just open your mouth. One thing that's super important about jiu-jitsu especially, and I guess you could really apply this to any martial art, is ask questions. Because if we don't ask the questions, we won't get the answers. That, that's one of the big tips for improving in jiu-jitsu is ask questions. Because if you don't have any questions, that means you're, you're not training right. Because if you're training right, you're, you're going to run into into roadblocks. You're going to run into all these obstacles that won't let you past. I can't pass this guy's guard. I can't lock up this submission. I can't pull off this sweep or whatever it is. Or every time I try to do this, this guy does that. So ask some questions to your coach and to your teammates. You know, you mentioned you're a white belt. You're just starting out. Um, so there are probably lots of people in the gym who are squishing you. You want know to ask them, how are you doing that? And that's a great way to break the ice. Because, you know, afterward, afterward they'll, they'll, they'll be happy, I'm sure a lot of them, to share their knowledge with you and their experience with you. So, great question. Good luck to you. Get back to the gym and train as soon as you can. Next question.